Manchester United's next opponents in the Premier League are Stoke City. With three wins out of three so far in the Premier League, Man United have been in phenomenal, phenomenal form. Last year, we drew one all against Stoke City on both occasions. It's never an easy trip to go to the Britannia Stadium, or as it's known now, the Bet365 Stadium. But how will Manchester United get on? How have Stoke been playing this season? Let's get going in the big match preview. But before we get into the preview, Ladbrokes, of course, back in United People's TV for the season. Thank you very much, Ladbrokes. But make sure you head over there because if you bet £5, you get £20 free with our unique code. It's in the description, UTD Peoples. There's a link in there. If you head over there and bet £5, you'll get £20 free. Who are you going to bet on? I'm going to bet on Lukaku to score a hat-trick in this game. So Man United coming into the match off the back of the international break. First and foremost, no injury concerns for Man United from the international break. That is a big, big bonus. For someone like Phil Jones, who started the season so, so well, there were concerns that playing two games in the international break might cause him to break. But he didn't. Phil Jones is still fit and ready to start this game. And a few Man United players had a very good international break. Romelu Lukaku scored four goals in two games. Fantastic from him. David De Gea kept a clean sheet. Sergio Romero kept a clean sheet. Marcus Rashford won man of the match with an outstanding performance against, who was it, Slovakia. It wasn't, it was an outstanding performance, but it was more his mental approach to adversity. Third minute gave the goal away for Slovakia's opener, but he returned to get the assist for the equaliser and scored the winner himself. That's what you want to see from Marcus Rashford. Daily Bling getting two assists for the Netherlands from the left back position, which Bodes well for Romelu Lukaku. If we can get Blind crossing well and Lukaku on the end of it, he's going to score goals aplenty against Stoke. Now, whereas Manchester United have got three wins out of three so far in the Premier League, Stoke have tasted every flavour of the rainbow. They beat Arsenal, they drew against West Brom and they have lost against Everton. Very inconsistent start to the season. Stoke currently sitting in 11th position. And for me as a club, they're plateauing under Mark Hughes. They were going forward full steam ahead at the point where they were trying to get rid of the Tony's Pulis football and then bring in this new footballing style of football. Getting the ball on the ground and actually playing football. Buying exciting players like Bojan Kerkic, who's not even at the club anymore. But that's what I mean about them stagnating a little bit. Let's have a look at what they've done. They've got Kevin Vimmer in from Tottenham. Not sure he's going to make that much of a difference. But as I said, Bojan's left and Mbula's left. He's gone on loan to Toulouse, which for me makes no sense. If you're a Stoke fan watching this, why have you loaned Mbula? I thought he was one of your better players, but maybe he wasn't. But Stoke are not a club that are moving forward in leaps and bounds at the moment. They were a year or two ago, but right now I feel like they're stagnating and I feel like it's the right time to play Stoke City. As far as team news goes for Manchester United, we could have Ashley Young and Luke Shaw back in contention to be part of the squad. Luke Shaw returning would be a huge, huge thing because for me, left back is the key weakness we have got in our squad currently. But let's see if he is too soon for him to be involved. Maybe we'll see him against Basel in the Champions League, maybe Burton in the League Cup, and maybe Ashley Young won't be involved at all. Darren Fletcher, it looks like he's going to recover from his knee concern to play for Stoke. I love the fact that Fletcher has done so, so well since leaving Man United. Became such a good player for West Brom. Amazing to see him overcome his illness issues. So I'm saying big congratulations to Darren Fletcher. But if he does play, I hope he has a shite performance. And it Mambaram Juf, another ex-Red, he may play as well. But for me, there's no real player in this Stoke team that causes me any major concern. Not with how Manchester United are playing. Hopefully this cocksure confidence is not me being cocky. But I just feel Man United are looking too good at the moment to be derailed by a Stoke City side that haven't got any momentum in their sails, not with a win, a loss and a draw so far this season. But what's my prediction for the game against Stoke City? As I said, I'm feeling really, really confident at the moment. And I haven't felt this confident as a United fan in a long time. We've had individual performances where we've blown a team away, but then the following game we've had a dismal draw and the momentum leaves. But right now, just game by game, Mourinho is building momentum. We followed up by smashing West Ham on the opening day of the season by getting the same result away at Swansea. But it was a different sort of 4-0 win. Going into the last 10 minutes, United were only 1-0 up. We scored three goals in four minutes and won 4-0. Then we played Leicester at home, a game that was 2-0 but could have been more. And Leicester definitely 
offered the biggest attacking threat that we've had against us out of all the three teams. Um, I think if Leicester had used Riyad Mahrez better, there was loads of space that Daley Blin was leaving that could have been used and exposed, but Leicester didn't do it. We got away maybe with a clean sheet there. I think they could have scored. But going away at Stoke, it's never an easy game. That will, Stoke will always be confident of getting a result at home. But I'm more confident that Man United will be able to overcome that. So I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for a 3-0 to Manchester United. I don't think that Stoke will score against this defence. This defence looks very good. Valencia's playing well, but this partnership between Bayern and Jones is the best centre-back partnership I've seen at United in a long time. Rojo and Bailey was fantastic last season, but Jones and Bailey, for me, has a little bit more solidarity about it. It feels a bit more secure. The weakness is definitely left-back. If Stoke can expose Daley Blind and get in behind him, maybe they'll have some joy. But I hope they don't. I think Matic will cover him well enough that they don't. But that's my match prediction. As I said, 3-0 to Manchester United is what I think this game will be. Make sure you click the link in the description as well. You bet £5, you get £20 free with United People's TV. Thanks to Labbrokes. The code is in the description. The link is in the description. Go over there and enjoy it. As I said, I'm going to lay my free bet down on Romelu Lukaku to score a hat-trick in this game. A follow-up on the hat-trick he scored against Gibraltar in the international break. As always, ladies and gents, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new in town. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.